cool. Now you have like a little wavy effect that you could do. Hey guys, what is up? In this video, we are going to go over the effect um, wave distortion. It's a very simple <laughs> effect. Sorry, I messed up my last one. It's a very simple effect that can add um, some cool, well, effects to your animation. So yeah, let's go ahead and get started. So here we are. And let's go ahead and add an effect. So we'll add an effect and wave distortion. All right, so we'll hit play. We don't really see anything um, happening, but the end result, right? And so to kind of show you um, what it looks like, we'll come over here to vertical. We increase the amplitude, which kind of increases the effect of it overall. And you can see, usually like in a horizontal, looking way it looks just looks really big then we'll do the period and this is just the the uh, closeness of the wave and then the phase is just where it's at in the wave right so if you wanted to keep this so let's say you wanted it to this size and then you just want to keep it that size and then just make it look like that. We'll just move the face. We'll just animate the face. So let's kind of show you how you can animate that. We'll change the end right here to 60 and then we'll hit keyframe and then we'll come out the front, hit the keyframe button, we'll switch to the um, dope sheet. All right, and then at, at six, uh, sorry, at 30, like right in the middle, we will move this a lot, and yeah, now it should animate on loop, right? And that looks kind of weird, so, <laughs> so we'll delete the last keyframe here, and that looks still weird, like it's kind of too fast. So what we can do is, let me see, it's at 113. See on this keyframe. It's at 121. This is at six. All right, that's too extreme. Negative six actually, so we'll do 30. All right. Now if we hit play. All right, that's a little better. We'll go over here to 60. We'll do 15. So it just kind of slows down. Cool. Now you have like a little wavy effect that you could do um, as your, I guess, logo intro thing. Um, and if you wanted to loop it, you do something like this. But, you know, you play with it and make it look a little smoother. But yeah, so that's how that would look. Um, we can also change the mode. To horizontal and you can see the effect but basically it's just going to go across the stroke horizontally um, and then if we really want to get crazy uh, at the animation point because like this is really only two frames of animation which is so cool uh, which just shows you don't have to be over complicated to animate so at the amplitude we're going to hit a or an add a keyframe uh, make sure we add a keyframe on uh, 60 as well or 59 and we'll add in the cave right there and this orange line means that we're holding that these are all the same keyframes um, and I just use the arrow keys to go in between frames uh, I can't remember what the the actual um, next keyframe hot key is um, but yeah so we'll do 32 and then we'll change the amplitude to something crazy like that now we hit play so we can see it maxes out and then it goes like down it maxes out and then it goes like down all right and then we can get even more crazy and we'll add the period 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 okay cool so now on the animation one we will 
We'll simplify it a lot. Where it's almost straight. So it's legible. It's not just barely wobbling. Anyways, so yeah, that is the wave distortion effect. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, go ahead and like, leave a comment, subscribe if you haven't already. And yeah, we'll see you some more Grease Missile content. I'll see you guys in the next video.